Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Hindi, the Android Authority App Guy, and welcome back to Google Play Weekly. First up this week, Blackphone is releasing an app store that is supposed to be very secure. Not much is known about it yet other than it's something that is going to exist. The new app store will be opening up in January 2015 and include apps that are hand selected by Blackphone staff to keep things as secure as humanly possible. We don't know if this store will be available on other devices, but the idea of a super secure Android app store is interesting and it'll be fun to see what apps make the cut. Google has been sending out emails this last week letting people know that they can get refunds on some of their in-app purchases. A while back, Google settled in a court case with the FTC, and thus Google is now responsible for $19 million worth of unauthorized in-app purchases. Now Google is giving people a chance to get the in-app purchases refunded if they had any between March 1st of 2011 and November 18th of 2014. You won't get automatically refunded as Google reviews all refund requests, but if you had a kid go nuts on your credit card, this is how you get that money back. This last week, Google rolled out major updates to Google Hangouts, Play Services, and the Chromecast app. The Chromecast app was a pretty big update. It now includes screencasting for all Android devices running Android 4.4.2 and up, as well as material design, and they've also now included guest mode. In the video description below, we'll have a video linked up to show you how to use it. Google Play Services was updated to version 6.5, and with that comes way more changes than I can explain in this video. It's more developer stuff, but these are features that we'll see rolling out to applications over the coming weeks and months. If you want to know more, we'll have a link to this guy that you can see right now talking about all of the new features. I recommend watching it because that guy is freaking awesome. Last up is the Google Hangouts update. At the time of the making of this video, it hasn't started rolling out just yet, but it should be very shortly. The new update includes a darker, flatter design, stickers, better location messaging, and video filters when you're in video chat. We took it for a test run, and if you want to see it, the link is in the video description below and also at the end of this video. In our last bit of news this week, Google released an infographic showing us all of the most popular stuff from the Google Play Store in 2014. This infographic is huge. It shows the top apps in eight different categories, the top five most popular games, the most popular movies and TV shows, music, and books. It also mentions that Google Play gamers have unlocked over 3.5 billion achievements, which shows that people are engaged with that kind of content. It's a little depressing to see freaking Candy Crush Saga at the top of the gaming list because it is mediocre at its very best, but everything else looks pretty promising. Sue so wants to see some trending applications. If you want to check any of these applications out, you can find Find the links in the video description below. Game of Thrones The Game has been released on Android from Telltale Games, the same studio that brought us the very popular The Walking Dead games. It's an episodic adventure where you play as members of the House of Forrester as you deal with the events of the main story from a more peripheral perspective. The game features good graphics, the classic gore and mayhem of the television show, and plenty more. The popular and incredibly artsy live wallpaper Mootsai got a huge update to version 2.0 this last week, included as Android Wear support and updated interface for Android 5.0, some new customization settings, and a host of bug fixes and performance improvements. It's totally free and one of the more popular live wallpapers out there right now. Nokia has been on a roll this year and the long-awaited Here Beta Maps app has finally hit the Google Play Store. It features a fun and animated design, offline maps, and the ability to find new places around you. It's been hotly anticipated and a private beta was announced not long ago. Now everyone can get in on it, but do beware that this is a beta and that means there will probably be some bugs. It's been a long time coming, but VLC for Android has finally exited beta. The latest update fixed a number of bugs on ARM V8 devices as well as Android 5.0 Lollipop, along with a lot of new functionality and hardware acceleration and software decoding improvements. It's finally stable with this version 1.0 release, so if you're a fan of VLC or you're looking for an awesome media player, definitely check this one out. Action Launcher version 3.0 was released yesterday and reportedly a lot of work went into it. The code base was entirely redone from the ground up, which means it should be the fastest and smoothest action launcher experience yet. It retains a lot of its older features like the pop-out app drawer and covers, along with some new stuff. If you're interested in what promises to be a very good launcher, check this one out. If you want to check out the latest news and reviews about Android apps and games, head on over to AndroidAuthority.com, click on the little menu thingy, and check out the application section. And if you want to join the discussion, head on over to AndroidAuthority.com slash community, set up an account, and join us in the forums. I will see you there. Once again, I'm Joe Hindi, the Android Authority App Guy. While you're here, why not subscribe to the Android Authority YouTube channel? If you're hanging out for a minute, we have a couple of awesome videos for you to watch right over there, and they're also linked in the video description below for you folks on mobile. Finally, don't forget to check out the written companion, which is in the video description below. As always, thanks for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day.